Today, we're exploring brain and synaptic plasticity, which is how our brain adapts, learns, and reorganizes itself throughout our lives. Our brain is a network of billions of neurons connected by trillions of synapses. These connections form circuits that process and transmit information. The brain's ability to change and adapt, known as neuroplasticity, allows it to reorganize itself by forming new connections and modifying existing ones in response to experiences, learning, and injury. Structural plasticity involves changes in the physical structure of neurons. This can include the growth of new dendrites and axons, which enhances the brain's ability to form new connections and strengthen existing ones. Dendrites are the branching extensions of neurons that receive signals from other neurons. Experiences, learning, and environmental stimuli can promote dendritic growth, increasing the number of synaptic connections and enhancing communication between neurons. Synaptic plasticity refers to changes in the strength of synapses, which are the connections between neurons. Two key processes are involved. The first is long-term potentiation, or LTP, which is the process of strengthening synapses based on recent patterns of activity. When neurons are repeatedly stimulated together, their connection becomes stronger, making it easier for them to communicate in the future. LTP is crucial for learning and memory formation. Long-term depression, or LTD, is the process of weakening synapses. When synaptic activity is low or infrequent, the connection between the neurons weakens. LTD helps remove unused connections and refine neural networks, ensuring that the brain remains efficient and adaptable. The molecular mechanisms behind synaptic plasticity involves various proteins and signaling pathways. Two key receptors involved in synaptic plasticity are NMDA and AMPA receptors. During LTP, NMDA receptors allow calcium ions to enter the neuron, triggering a cascade of events that increase the number of AMPA receptors at the synapse. This makes the synapse more responsive to future signals. Protein synthesis is also essential for synaptic plasticity. The production of new proteins strengthens and stabilizes synaptic changes, supporting long-term modifications in neural circuits. Synaptic plasticity is the foundation of learning and memory. When you learn a new skill or remember an experience, synaptic connections in your brain are modified to encode this information. The repeated activation of specific neural circuits strengthens these connections, making it easier to recall information and perform tasks. Certain periods in development, known as critical periods, are times when the brain is especially receptive to specific experiences. During these periods, experience-dependent plasticity shapes the brain's structure and function, allowing it to adapt to the environment and acquire essential skills. Neuroplasticity also plays a crucial role in recovery from brain injury. After an injury, the brain can reorganize itself to compensate for lost functions. This can involve forming new connections, strengthening existing ones, or recruiting alternative neural pathways. Rehabilitation and targeted therapies can enhance this process, aiding recovery. Several factors can influence brain plasticity. Regular physical exercise promotes neuroplasticity by increasing blood flow to the brain, stimulating the release of growth factors, and enhancing overall brain health. Engaging in mentally stimulating activities, such as learning new skills, solving puzzles, and reading, helps maintain and enhance synaptic plasticity, keeping the brain sharp and adaptable. 
Social interactions provide cognitive challenges and emotional support, both of which are important for promoting neuroplasticity and overall brain health. While neuroplasticity is a powerful tool for adaptation and recovery, certain conditions can impair it. Chronic stress can negatively impact neuroplasticity by increasing the production of stress hormones, which can damage neurons and hinder the formation of new connections. As we age, the brain's capacity for plasticity decreases. However, engaging in physical, mental, and social activities can help maintain neuroplasticity and cognitive function in older adults. Advancements in research and technology are helping us better understand neuroplasticity. It holds promise for developing new therapies to enhance learning, memory, and recovery from various neurological conditions.